going to put a review of Just League 19. Haven't, uh, really reviewed comics in a while. And the weird thing is, the last comic I reviewed was Just League 18, which is really good. And I'll start off by pulling out the pull-out cover, which is really cool. This is, like, what, this cover really got me excited. And I think it lives up to the hype. And, yeah, got Batman holding a cup tonight, Green. The story, uh, pretty much starts off with Jason and Alfred in, uh, in the back. You talk about, like... Batman and me really missed you when you died, and like, you know, this little small chat and stuff. Now, out of nowhere, some guy dressed up shocks Jason, and out of nowhere, I'm gonna show you, throws Alfred through a glass. Wow! Dude, Alfred got thrown through a glass, and like, later on, wow, oh, fuck, my phone's ringing. God damn it. I have to pause this right now, and we'll get back in a minute. Okay, back to what I was saying. Alfred and uh, Jason get their head smashed and their ass kicked, and for some reason why Alfred gets hurt and survives, which is what hell of a butler he is. I would love to have him as a butler, have him do my fights too. So basically, this guy goes to like Bruce's stuff, goes to like his secret files and cabinets and stuff. But the cool thing is like this in the background. This looks like the tumbler from the Christopher Nolan movies. Well, to me, it looks like the tumbler, and this looks like the suit from um. Batman Zero when he was dressed up as like a guy with a beard and stuff. Uh, that we'll talk about that some other time. And basically, he goes to his files, and the weird thing is, we see. Ow, oh, I cut my lip in the top. And we all see these like these boxes with like the hero symbols, and this this probably is like ways to stop each of these heroes. The thing the story really got me wondering is like the story. I, when I saw that, this, it made me think of this comic right away, Tower of Babel, where someone goes to Batman's files, and like basically in Batman's files. He has a way to stop each of the uh, each of the Just League members, and this person basically sees these files, but he only picks up the Superman one for some reason. I want to pick up all these fucking files. Shit! Why pick one? We can pick all of them. And I don't know. We, we jump to this uh, this part right here. It looks like some World of Warcraft shit. Um, the Adam or her new name is uh, Rhonda. What's her name? Rhonda? It's not Rhonda. Rhonda Pineda or something like that. And she's like basically fighting. And, uh, and then I guess like her phone rings and it's like 10 o'clock and she has to like go to a meeting with, at the Just League Watchtower. So she basically leaves and all that other stuff and all that other good shit. <laughs> what other cool stuff I want to talk about? And like Firestorm is just up there waiting, talking to himself. And she's like, who are you talking to? And he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. Where the fuck is the league? I'm bored waiting and shit. This is where the cool stuff happens. I guess they're at like, it, they jump to this one scene where they're at Candog? I can never pronounce it. Can you guys pronounce that? Right there, Kandok, and I guess, like, they're basically like, these terrorists, or I, I call them terrorists, or the Sons of Adam, or, like, that's what they're called, the group, the Sons of Adam, they capture these people, and, like, they have them as hostage, you know, it's, like, the same thing, where we, like, we want stuff, you want stuff, we're the hostage members, and out of nowhere, the guy was like, wait, we had eight hostage, why is there ten out of nowhere, and out of nowhere, we see Wonder Woman and Superman kick their asses, but the cool thing is, look at Superman, he has a fucking beard! Superman has a full-on beard! What the fuck?! Superman has a fucking beard! How fucking awesome is that? No, no. Superman has a fucking beard! I never saw anything like that before. Superman having a beard. That was awesome. Then we jump back to the Batcave, and we have a, lot, a nice conversation with Bruce and, um... Batman. I mean, Bruce and... <laughs> with Jason and Batman. They're like, I'm sorry, I couldn't help and all the other stuff. And like, <laughs> fuck, man. What else can I say from there? Okay, sorry there was a pause there, I actually pressed the pause button, but yeah, basically we're, we, uh, we're back in the Batcave scene, and like, Jason's like, I'm sorry Bruce, I know you're disappointed in myself, and Batman's like, Jason, I'm just glad you're both okay, and look, I really like how their really, uh, the relationship is starting to change, like, they're both like, seem like they care about each other again, like, this happened, this started to happen in ba uh, Red Hood 18, where like, Batman and Jason finally get their nice moment together, and it seems like it's, uh, like, they're, they're uh, seems like they're, their fucking relationship has really changed now. Like, they're both, like, good to each other now and shit. And they basically, like, started bursting, like, I couldn't find a trace and all the other stuff. I want to spoil it who it was, but we'll go to that to the end. And after, we get this cool scene where, like, Bruce, like, bring me the cyber... I mean, he says the cyber, bring me the Wonder Woman and, uh, Clark right now. And basically, like, you know, small chat and stuff. And Wonder Woman says the one thing, like, nothing can stop us, Clark. And uh, Batman's like, you don't want to say that. You sound like a villain if you say that. So, like, you know, some other cool lines and stuff. What else can we jump to? I basically, basically Batman's mad that uh, uh, that Clark and uh, Diana helped those people out, and that made the Just League look bad for like basically helping those other people out when like uh, Americans are not allowed or for like 26 years already or something like that, and like no American can go to that country. Like 
Bruce Bates says, like, you made us look bad, you idiot. And Clark's like, we weren't even with the whole league. And uh, Batman was like, if you're with Diana, that basically looks like you're with the whole league. And Clark's like, yeah, blah, 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 and other stuff. It was really good. This is a really good comic, by the way, guys. Oh. And, ah, oh, shit. And there's other cool stuff that happens. Fuck. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, then he basically tells us that someone's broke into the Batcave. And they did, and they basically did to get at Superman. And... Fuck. What was I gonna say? Shit. And, like, basically, like, uh, Batman told him, like, they want to get something in the cave. Something to get at you, Superman. And, like, Diana's like, what's in the cave that can hurt Superman? Look how her face looks there. She looks really pretty. Uh, and we'll talk about the art later. And, yeah, we go back to the uh, the watchtower and the firestorm, and Adam are looking for, like, a kitchen or a bathroom or whatever. Now, nowhere, the guy who stole the kryptonite ring is Desperio. I can never pronounce his name right, Desperio. He's a really cool villain with the third eye thing and everything. He's like, bring me Superman now, you son of a bitch. And I'll make a, a part two about the whole Sazam backup story. But overall, this issue is really good. The art was so fucking good by Ivan Reyes. You're like... Wow, this art was good by Ivan Reyes. Like, I'm not even kidding you. This art was really good. So, yeah. If you haven't picked up Just League 19 yet, you should probably do it now. So, yeah. Just like the video.